Hello and welcome to this Nidal King team video that I uh, recently used on Twitch. I went 5-0 and with it, so I was pretty happy with that. The main reason I built this team was because I had a shiny Nidal King and I really wanted to do something around it. So I'm just going to quickly go through the strategy of why this team works so well, um, what I think I might need improvement on, and uh, then we can get into the five wins that I did at the start of the season. Um, yeah, so if you want to watch more of this live, feel free to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash sneaky llama. Um, we'll get started. So yeah, so the first thing is merely that Nero King. I've tried a couple things out with it, uh, but Life Orb Sheer Force with just coverage galore is pretty much the strategy behind it. Pure offense, no defense whatsoever. Uh, Blizzard, uh, I feel like there's a lot of hail being set up lately, and Blizzard's pretty good against a lot of... Uh, current threats out there especially like landorus and other things like that earth power is really good uh, especially against a lot of the more physically defensive um rock and fire types out there um flamethrower is really good coverage with this is this current setup with the eevee spreads uh it can also one shot an amoongus which is really important uh sludge bomb just coverage stab just overall good move to have uh the real star of the team though is raichu raichu with the charm and eerie impulse really just having those people's uh pokemon's attack stats um then nuzzle for speed control helping hand just to do something else it's max speed max hp um really just more it's complete support raichu with Fil uh focus ash to survive a hit lightning rod as you uh we have two pokemon that are both weak to uh electric type moves uh, with the Moltres and Gyarados, so really mostly protecting that Gyarados later on. Uh, Metagross is an Assault Fest. Most people usually see it with the Weakness Policy, uh, but you really want to say that for the Moltres instead. So Metagross, once again, coverage moves, pure offense, Meteor Mash, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, uh, and Stopping Tantrum for coverage. Um, Thunder Punch is more situational, uh, not as used as often, um, but there's a couple of cases out there where uh, especially against like water types like Primarina, Tapu Fini, uh, that the Thunder Punch comes in handy. Moltres, very standard overall. Um, Fire Wrath, Air Slash, Protect, Weakness Policy, nothing too uncommon there. Taunt, I uh, mostly added just for Trick Room. This team does struggle a little bit against Trick Room. Uh, we did go against Trick Room team in this video, so feel free to skip forward to that if you want to see that. Uh, unfortunately, I did not bring Moltres to that fight, so that was a little bit more difficult. Rotom, surprising champion of this team. One of the better ones that's really helped through. Uh, Will West, amazing. So many strong physical attackers out there right now. Um, Discharge is mostly, we really haven't used it yet. Uh, mostly the Hydro Pump has been the more key for this team, really getting those strong water type attacks off. But Discharge is good because two of the Pokemon, Nidoking King and Raichu, synergize really well with this. Uh, Nidoking King obviously being immune and Raichu getting that Lightning Rod. Um, so it doesn't get hit by Discharge either. So it's just a little, uh, coming to something different I want to do. Um, Volt Switch, just very standard, just in case we need to get out. Um, probably could switch out Discharge for Nasty Plot if you wanted to. Uh, that probably would not be a bad alternative as well. We actually do Dynamax Rotom in one of the matches. Definitely skip forward to that if you want to see uh, Dynamax Rotom. Uh, then Gyarados has just been one of my personal favorites um, that I've really enjoyed in Sword and Shield. It's been one of my go-tos. Uh, Power Whip, Waterfall, bounce get that max speed boost uh lumberry just to prevent burns because there are a lot of will-o-wisp users out there uh dragapult with will-o-wisp is pretty common right now especially after uh the player's cup too uh once again moxie really just planning to steamroll with it and then partnering up with raichu is the key right there uh keeping those electric types away from it um and then raichu just providing the speed support early on or helping hand when he needs a little extra boost to kill something um Overall, pretty great team. Uh, this is a rental team. Feel free to use it if you want to. Uh, I had great luck with this team. Overall, just it's a very offensive team. Um, there are two matches actually in this that I actually did not select the right Pokemon. Um, this time ran out before I could pick, but uh, Nidoking King and Raichu work surprisingly well together. Uh, that's another combo that I like to lead with because Nidoking King has really good diversity with his moves and with Sheer Force, all of them are hitting really hard. Raichu is never a bad one to bring in. There's always a physical attacker. There's always a special attacker. Uh, speed control is never bad. Metagross is always a good one to kind of... I usually use him as a late game sweeper. Uh, same with the Molt Trace was the plan. But as you'll see, a couple times I had Molt Trace in the back. Uh, but didn't even need to bring him out. And then Rotom is just overall one of my favorites uh, recently as well. He's been slowly growing up my favorites in the VGC uh, rankings. And then Gyarados is also amazing to lead with. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of these uh, five matches that I did. Uh, one of them is very short. Someone got a, a accidental lead that I did turned out beautiful for me and they forfeited right away uh, we do have four good matches a couple of them were very close uh some silly mistakes by myself like not realizing it was in a low in raichu instead of a normal raichu uh, which had a psychic type attack and many no king got one shot but yeah uh this team overall has done pretty well um struggles against a couple things depending on what you bring but the coverage is the main thing that it has going for it there's a couple things you can play around with one would be probably switching around the molt trace getting rid of that given the weakness policy of the Medgross, an Assault Vest to Nato King, making Nato King a little bit more tanky um, compared to the Metagross, and going for weakness policy uh, on the Metagross, and then switching, uh, probably helping hand out on Raichu for Brutal Swing to self-proc the weakness policy on Metagross. Um, I have tested that out, it works pretty well. But those are just a couple alternate priorities of it, and if you want to see more of this team or other teams that I have, I stream on Twitch pretty frequently. Uh, so. Link for that in the description below, as well as my Discord, where I usually post a lot of uh, updates and some team stuff, ideas, theory, things like that. So, hope you enjoy the video, and see you next time. Bye. Like, my rank means nothing to me. Um, like, for me, once I, like, prove that I can do well at a game, I stop trying as much, because it's like, I've already done it. I'm like, getting back to Master Ball, getting to top 1,000... I'm done. I mean, top 100 would be cool, but it's so hard to get to top 100. Um, maybe next month I could do it. So you have to, like, the best plan is to start playing right as soon as midnight hits. Um, that's the best plan. If you want to get to the top or high ranking, play right at midnight, first, first of the month. That's the plan to do. But, yeah. The annoying thing for me is I just haven't gone to Master Ball the last couple months because I don't play enough. I play like maybe five ranked games a month, <laughs> if that, which is not enough to get to Master Ball. You need to play a little bit more than five. Even if you're all five or wins, I don't think I get to Master Ball. Okay, they got a Trick Room team. Uh, where should they have Speed Swap and Trick Room options? Honestly, I think maybe we'll just lead Gyarados Raichu. Um, and then I think Nidoking's King's going to be good here. Um, what do I want my last one to be? Maybe just Moltres and just go for it. Let's try this out. Um, Super Meat Boy Forever comes out December 23rd. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I mean, I've never, I, Super Meat Boy, I respect platformers. I do not enjoy playing platformers. I'm not terrible at them. I have played them before. I just don't enjoy them as much as other things. Okay. I am so interested to see what this person is going to do. I have no idea. Um... I think I'm just gonna. I don't know what to do. Uh, I I just don't know what to do. Um, yeah, I should do that. I I just don't know what he's gonna try to throw at me. Should I nuzzle that thing? Paralyze it. Um, this is, this is one thing I hate about Poke Rocky Helmet. Oh, damn it. That's actually kind of annoying. Cotton Guard. Okay, so I'm just going to have to take him out. Special attacking. Oh, Among Us is coming to Switch? Cool. This is actually kind of cool. Okay, we should just probably take this out with a Helping Hand Waterfall. Um... I think that thing's just gonna body press us, which is gonna be annoying, but as soon as I get my Nido King in, I'll be fine, because Nido King um, has a fire type move. Comes out later today. Oh no. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, yeah, pretty okay with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Causing Guard, 
Okay, it's just gonna cost and guard, that's fine. I mean, it's paralyzed, it's slow. And um, I'm not really too worried about that, to be honest. I need to, I should tell Kira that I'm playing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna eerie impulse it. I'm guessing it's gonna, I don't know what it's, I don't know, I just don't know what he's gonna do. This guy's team just, I don't understand it. <laughs> I mean, body press is good, but not like, Great. Okay, it's just trying to buff that thing up. Maybe I should just go for a helping hand waterfall. It's gonna kill Raichu, sure. Okay, bye Raichu. I mean, yay, oh no. Whatever shall I do? He has a double, yeah, he has a double and he's like buffing it up. But like it's only phys especially defensive or physically defensive. Um, and I have, like, two Pokemon right here that can easily take care of him. So, like, I'm just not sure what it's trying to do. Um, yeah. I'm just not sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna save, like, my Dynamax, I think. Because I just, I, yeah, it's an interesting strategy. Like, he's trying to buff up his but double to be really strong. But it's, like, it's a double. It's, like, at most, it's gonna be able to kill, like, one of my Pokemon a turn. If that. Um, but that's it. It's also paralyzed. Like, it's it's strong. Like, it's gonna hurt, like, every time. Um, but it, it's not scary. I, I don't get the strategy. I mean, like, it's not a Pokemon you want to buff up like this. Because, <laughs> um, like, my Gyarados is just getting Moxie boosted as well. So, like... Everything's just getting stronger every time. I, mean, I probably might Dynamax my Gyarados. I wasn't planning on it, but it's already gotten two knockouts already. Um, oh, I almost killed it. Baton passed. Okay, there's a strategy. There's a strategy. Baton passed. Okay, now that's actually kind of annoying. That's actually scary. If baton, baton passed it to... Okay, that's actually scary. That's actually a good strategy. Uh, but the thing is... He didn't get Trick Room up. Okay, now that's that's a legitimate strategy. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, he did it too late. Um, yeah, he did it too, he did it too late. Uh, is a problem. Uh, if he would have got Trick Room up, that would have been somewhat annoying because I would have to stall at his Trick Room. But the thing is, I'm faster. I have a two times attack Gyarados with, I'm maxing it now because I'm just gonna use max water on it and take that thing out. Cause now, now that thing is scary. It has plus six defense, plus two attack, plus two special attack. Um, so yeah, I'm not letting that live. Okay, it's like, he needs to Dynamax that. If it has a chance of living, he needs to Dynamax it. Oh, actually, this thing might live. Because it has plus six attack. Or special uh, defense. Oh, it might live. Hold on. I might have lost this. That's fine. I'm not attacking you. I'm attacking the giant threat that's to me. Okay, let's see. I need a crit, I think. Oh, that did so little. Oh... That did so little. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Next Quake. Oh, you picked the wrong, I guess he, not really the wrong target. I mean, Nidoking's King's a good target takeout. Um, but Gyarados, Nidoking King did more damage because it's a special attacker. But that's fine, it, it's still a game. Um, that could have been annoying. Could have been. Um, but I'm still very fine. Um, no, I'm kind of tempted just to max guard and fiery 
yeah. Just in case, like, something weird could happen. Like, if he max guards, or I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was like, I don't know why I did that. I probably didn't need to. I was just being over cautious. Okay, I mean, that was an interesting strategy, um, but a little bit risky. Um, if I would have killed that double, like one turn, like if I would have attacked it one turn sooner or attacked it with one other thing. Um, let's check out their team really quick. Okay. Okay, so it was a speed swap. Ooh, that's actually a really cool shiny. Never seen that shiny before. Mud shot. Interesting. Crunch. Huh. Interesting strategy that guy had. Keep on going. Yay, Pokeball Tier 6. Woohoo. Yeah, our team is just powerful. It doesn't really have like a good strategy. It's more of a it's a uh, offensive team. Um, it's pretty good coverage is the main thing that this team has going for it. Okay, let's see. Uh, definitely Nodo King. Nodo King is definitely coming. Um, I'm kind of tempted to lead Nidal King Molt Trace. Um, Gyarados is also pretty good here, too. Okay, Nidal King is definitely leading. Nidoking Gyarados. Metagross. Maybe not. Hold on, let me think. He has two really annoying support Pokemon that I need to take care of. Um, I can do that with Moltres or Gyarados, but who do I want? Who do I want to do it with? Is the bigger question. I think I want to do it with. I want to do it with Moltres. Um, and then have Metagross to come in afterwards. Oh, no. Oh, no. I did do it fast enough. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. I took too long. Oh, well. That's not good. That's not good. <sighs> Grimstarl Animungus lead. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Yeah, Nidoking King Raichu is not the lead I wanted. Mm. Okay. Uh, this is not the lead I wanted, but the lead I'm gonna have to work with. Oh, damn it. No, this this game, this match is not going to go well. Actually, it's just my unit. No one needs to watch that. It's fine. Oh, okay, good. I can still one-shot the Amoongus. Oh, that's huge. Being able to one-shot that Amoongus actually probably keeps me in the game. Oh, I'm so glad. Sheer force for the win. Tyranitar? Okay, now this is where things get difficult. Uh, okay. So I got Grimmsnarl, and we're going to charm the Tyranitar. I'm just going to keep charming it over and over and over again. Okay, it's Dynamaxing. Is it gonna go for? I, was, I would assume Max. 
like it's gonna go for like a high horsepower stomping tantrum into the Nidor King slot, is my guess. Um Light screen, that's fine. Charm. Uh, okay. Ooh, so close. Hailstorm. Oh, that's right. I am weak to ice too. That's fine. It's fine. Ice punch. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, oh, that's powerful though. Another question is what do you think do I think I can live and hit or not? Yeah, I guess I just gotta bring him at gross and try to get it up. Um Can keep charming Tyranitar to the ground. So this is why I like charm better than reflect, uh, because I can do it over again. Um, so I can just keep getting it off and lower it more than half. Otherwise, if I just only did it once, I'd only been able to get it to like reflect would only half the damage, where charming could potentially fourth the damage or make it one sixth. Um, so that's why I like using charm. And also, I have a I don't have a weakness policy Metagross. I have a assault vest Metagross, which is a little bit different just keep charming turns are lowering its attack as much as possible I guess it might be weakness policy so that's gonna be kind of an issue um, but it should be okay oh it's not weakness policy Interesting. Okay, I think we're very okay then now. Yeah, look how little that Tyranitar did. I'm hoping the Hail's gonna kill the Grim Snarl. It's really my real hope right now. I think it will. I think it's within range of Hail killing it. Yeah, okay, it was. Yeah, that's why I didn't worry about it. Um, okay, and then Tyranitar is now within range of being killed, probably. Cartana. Cartana might be an issue. Actually, I think I'm going to Steel Spike Tyranitar again and charm the Cartana this turn around. Just don't want to let it be able to get anything. Leaf Blade's going to hurt. Yeah, if he gets Beast Boost off, that's that's problematic okay yep tarantar's gone hey fox how's it going oh, okay let's see here bye bye tarantar yeah i think this is uh this game. Uh, I think this match is over. I wish I still had my Nidoking. King. My Nidoking King would have made this a lot easier, but can't always get what you want. Now the question is, do I want to let it get a beast boost off? Honestly, I'd rather get, I think I'd rather get a nuzzle off on it than letting it, than, and still let it get a beast boost. Um, just in case somehow this Cartana wins on a 3v1. <laughs> Not gonna risk it. 
Yeah, Kartana's pretty... I like Kartana. Kartana's a really cool, cool Pokemon. Um, the only problem is, like... Oh, thanks for the follow. Always appreciate good followers. Yeah, how's, how have you, how's your day been? Um, uh, kind of want to, like, just kill my own Raichu. Uh, honestly, I kind of want Raichu to live, so we're going to let Raichu live, I think. I'm going to swap it out. Um... Just because I, I think Raichu, I think Raichu deserves to live. I don't know about you. I think Raichu deserves to live. Raichu put in work this game. I didn't even get to use my Moltres. Kind of say it. Can use it now. So, so I want to. Uh, paralyzed again. Oof, poor guy. Poor guy. Yeah, so this team that I'm using is kind of a team that I just kind of threw around, uh, just threw together, um, kind of revolving around um, Nidoking, because I got a shiny Nidoking, and I wanted to build something around that Nidoking. Um, it was really the strategy that I had. Um, I've gotten into Master Ball a couple times, got into top 1,000, um, but it's been a while. Since I've been back, actually, I want to I want to take a look at my Metagross move. I think I don't. I think Thunder Punch can be swapped out. So we're two and zero so far this season. Um, I didn't really expect to run into much trouble in Pokeball tier. Um, it's mostly just like in Pokeball tier, you can come across people like me who are climbing back up into Master Ball, who maybe took some time off like I did, um, and we're having to work our way back up, <laughs> and you get some interesting. Or you just get some really out there teams as well. Um, or people copying uh, Wolfie or Aaron or someone like that, um, which is fine. Like, good, like, go ahead, copy them. They're like, that's, I think that's a great idea to learn and copy after um, the best to be the best. Oh, there was a castle fight today. Oh, I'm so sad. I completely missed a castle fight. And, um, Albion. Okay. Whew. Uh, this is what I miss. And not having fake out is going to actually hurt me here. Uh, definitely Metagross is going to be one thing that we're going to want. Uh, I'm thinking actually. Metagross and Nidoking King might not be a bad. Actually, who's faster? Is Nidoking King faster or Metagross faster? 105, 90. Okay. Um. In that case, then. Maybe let's just throw. In Raichu is never bad to happen. Right, now, who's who are they gonna do? I feel like they're just gonna go for pure offense. So right, she's not bad, and then we'll go Nidoking King and Gyarados. Did I do it in time? I if I didn't do it in time again, I'm gonna be mad. I hope I did it in time. I I forgot to do it in time last time. Last time I didn't press my buttons fast enough. I heard that click, but I don't know if it accepted it. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I mean, Nidoking King Raichu is in a bad lead, especially against Sableye. Honestly, Nidoking King would have been a better... Okay, now honestly, you know what? A-OK -okay with this. <laughs> uh, overall... Um... Okay, um, honestly, I, yeah, this, it worked out well, but not for the reasons I wanted it to, because Nidoking King is a huge threat against Nihiligo, like, huge threat. Um, Sableye could fake out something, um, I don't know what's gonna do, yeah. I'm just surprised how well, like, this Nidoking King Raichu, oh, instantly left. Is that gonna count as my lead, a win? 
that count as my win or no? Does that count as my win or not? I want to know. If that doesn't... It does. Okay, cool. Hey, 3-0. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, me literally... I wasn't originally going to lead with Nido King. Um, and leading with Nido King probably really messed up his strategy. Because uh, he didn't have any good swaps into taking a, an Earth move. Um, I don't think he realized that I... Yeah. That's why Nidal King is a really good threat because it has a lot of um, variety in it. Okay, have fun at schoolwork. If you need help, I probably can't help you, so. <laughs> ah, damn it. Okay, this is a Shirk Room team. This is one of the teams that I'm scared of. Uh, actually, there's, this team has options as well, which makes it more scary for me. Um, hmm. I think we're going to do Raichu, Gyarados, Rotom in the back with um, Metagross in the back as well to sweep it then. I think that's going to be our strategy. Yeah, lurking permit. <laughs> I love how everyone's using the lurking permits. Lurking permits is just a fun little idea. Also, just a tiny little point waster. Um, and now that Fonzie, now that you're a mod, points are kind of irrelevant to you. Yeah, also, feel free to use the backseat gaming for like. I don't know if anyone else is watching other than Fonzie or, and, or Foxy's still around or not. But feel free to use it for, like, if you really want me to build a team around a Pokemon. Like, my rank does not matter to me. I do not care. I will use a gimmicky team or a fun team. I am just using this team because I want to use Nidoking. King. Okay, this is what I was afraid of. This is a very strong lead um, overall. Yeah, this is a strong team. Um... Can I Eerie Impulse and Electric type? I honestly have no idea. I really don't know. Reflect. Yeah, it's just going to be reflecting. Okay, I can Eerie Impulse and Electric type. <laughs> That's so little. <laughs> that literally just tickled it. Okay, my plan is to just stall out Trick Room. Okay, I think we're... going to... nuzzle this slot, then just go for a waterfall into this slot. Okay. He sent out. Last year. That's fun. Curse. Oh. Now that's something I haven't seen. That's new. Curse onto Gyarados. Okay. Her shot goes away as soon as I like swap. That's so much. Uh, okay, Raichu. Or Tom should be able to take a hit. Yeah. Uh, let's see how this does. I should need to weaken this glass chair and live. Um, we'll see what happens. Oh, 
Oh, that's great. Paralyzed. I don't know what I was going to do, but... Whatever it was going to do. Okay, that's fine. Set the hail for itself. Raichu's going to die this turn. I was planning... I was expecting Raichu to die. Um, but at least I'll be able to get a charm off is the main thing. Okay. Yep, that's good. Got a charm off. Okay. Five right you. We got your charm off, which is honestly huge. Just having that thing's power. So important. And I'm going to burn it as well. Um, and honestly, I think putting Gyarados back in and protecting with it to stall up more turns might be better. Best, I think. How many more turns of Trick Room are there at this point? There can't be that many. Uh, my plan is really to have Garrett, uh, two more turns. Okay, I can stall two turns. Yeah, let's see if I can get the double protect off, I guess. Yeah. Protect. I'm just going to place a curse on it. It's going to kill itself, right? Oh, I can I can do that through protect, can it? Next hailstorm into what slot? What slot is going into? It's, okay, perfect. I read that right. Little wisp. Now you're practically useless. Perfect. Now you're one doing one fourth damage. Yay. Okay, that's good. Honestly, I'm really tempted to dine. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with Gyarados, because I don't want it to get an attack boost up, but I might have to. Uh... There's only one turn of Trick Room left, which is good. Um... The question is what to do. I think we're just gonna do that. Yeah. Ooh, withdrawing it. Okay, it's still burnt, but that's fine. Okay, interesting. Not what I was expecting at all. Parting shot. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, it does get rid of one. Th it does get rid of the charm, so that's good for it. But it's still burnt, um, which is the problem. And I have both my attacks coming at that slot right now. Okay. Hey, spice. Oh, Dale. How's it going, Dale? Yeah, this is a pretty tough battle. Um, I messed up the lead. They got a Trick Room, so I've been struggling surviving through Trick Room right now. Uh, but doing better than I thought it would be, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Gyarados is going to go down, but I think I'm going to let... Oh, yes, perfect. Gyarados is going to be able to die to um, Hail instead. Uh, I'm really tempted to Dynamax Rotom. Uh, comp, um, it's a glass year. I'm actually really tempted. Okay, let's see. They have Grimms. I'm really tempted to Dynamax Rotom. I think Dynamaxing Rotom might be the play. I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Dynamax Rotom. I'm going to do it. Dynamax Rotom. Let's go. Yes. Oh, yes. Here comes an Incineroar. Dynamax Rotom. Oh, this is gonna be. This is perfect. I mean, I didn't intend for this to work out like this, but this is hilarious. Uh, my comp is purely. I built it around a Nido King team or Nido King, because I have a shiny Nido King. I'll show it to you afterwards uh, and explain my strategy. Um, 
It's um, it reuses my old Gyarados exclusive Pokemon showdown. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just limited rules showdown. Rotom is kind of like my oddball pick, but like every time I've used Rotom, good things have happened. Um, so that's why I use Rotom because I don't know why, but I just get like lucky with Rotom. Volt switch. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Um, not sure why they keep switching out and in this Pokemon. Um, it's like it's burnt and like really low health. Um, I guess it, they, I did protect, so. Oh, that didn't kill it? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, it's going to use another parting shot, isn't it? Uh, okay. Uh, at least I'm going to get in my Metagross now. I just didn't want the uh, Nihil Ego, or not the... Uh, VGC's 2020. Yeah, it's VGC 2020. Yeah, I wanted to get the Rain up, and just in case the Incineroar had, like, Flare Blitz or something like that. So my Metagross would be fine. Um, which series? Series... I guess this would be considered Series 8. Um, honestly, a stomping, let's think here, stomping tantrum. And then max geyser cover both ales, uh, areas. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This is Series 8, I believe, right? I think. Not sure. 100%. I guess, yeah, it did just swap in. I completely forgot that it swapped it. It just swapped in. Okay, so I have one turn with Dynamax left. They already used their Dynamax. Um, I wasted their Dynamax. I got a Charm and a Burn Off on the last year. Which is great. Uh, Reggie Lucky is going to be kind of a pain to fight, though. Um... Should be okay. Um, my Metagross is actually choice. Uh, it actually has an Assault Fest on it uh, to make it a little bit more bulky, uh, especially defensive-wise. I'm not sure if I if Dynamax and Rotom was the best play here. Uh, the plan was to Dynamax Metagross, um, but I think this is all working out fine. Um, yeah. This is a close. It was a tough match. Um, Having to outlast the Trick Room was especially difficult. Um, and also a Curse on Dusclops was not expect. I was not expecting Curse on Dusclops. That's probably the first time I've seen Curse on Dusclops. Light screen. Okay, that's fine. That's probably actually what I would like to see. Because uh, Max Geyser's, yeah, Rotom's faster than Incineroar. Okay, good. Uh, I think that's game. I don't think there's. I don't think it's going to live a Stomping Tantrum. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Pokemon is probably my Pokemon's my favorite series of games. Um Yeah, there's that's my favorite series by far. But yeah, I can show you the team that I just want to get in. Um so this team, Incineroar was kind of annoying with parting shot, but not nothing like too unst uh they didn't, use, they didn't use that. This is what confused me. They had a curse um, Pokemon, which was kind of annoying. Uh, ooh, body press. That's interesting. I mean, usually you don't see body press on those. Uh, very Thunder Cage. Interesting. Usually it's Rising Voltage. Aqua Jet. Okay. Yeah, I guess pretty standard team overall. Oh, um, no. Let's quick battling. Here, I'll show, you, I'll show you my team really quick. So this is the team that I'm currently using. Um, mostly because I want to use shiny. I want to use Nido King. So I have a Life Orb Nido King. Uh, pretty much just pure coverage. It's not meant to. It's meant to attack and attack and attack. Um, Blizzard. I'll explain why later. But Blizzard, because having um hail up in this game has been pretty common. Um, and also just kind of nice little extra coverage. 
Earth Power Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb. Um, this is the real star of the team, this Raichu right here. Charm and Eerie Impulse and Nuzzle and Helping Hand. Um, yeah, it's just, it's insanely helpful. Just being able to constantly lower, um, and it's fast, Nuzzles. Um, this is my, normally my answer, Trick Room. I just didn't bring it, because it has Taunt, Protect, Air Slash, Fire Wrath. Um, yeah, I should have brought it. I, if I would have brought it, I would have been fine. <laughs> I just didn't. Uh, more fine than I was. Uh, this one, uh, Assault Vest, Meteor Mash, Thunder Punch, Stomping, Tantrum, Ice Punch. Thunder Punch is something I'm thinking about getting rid of, but I think it may not. Made Dirty Sand with Choice Scarf, Excadrill. Oh, Choice Scarf, yeah. I mean, that, that's definitely the way to do it. Richie, like, yeah, I don't really feel as that big of a threat. Uh, I think people overestimate it. Uh, Rotom, who's constantly been an MVP for everything. Uh, Will Abyss, mostly because there's a lot of other Metagrosses coming out there. Um, and being able to burn a Metagross is huge. Uh, Discharge, uh, Volt Switch, Hydro Pump. Uh, Discharge uh, is partly because I have um, um, Raichu on the team. So Raichu has Lightning Rod, so if I want to be able to hit, like, use an electric move, I need to have a spread. And also Nidoking King as well. So Nidoking King, uh, Rotom is a lead I can do. Um, and then Discharge obviously doesn't hit Nidoking. King. Um, Gyarados, very standard Gyarados set. Just, it's powerful. It works. It works well. It's a Moxie. Moxie Gyarados with a Lumberry. Uh, so it can handle Burn. It has really good coverage. Um, pair that with Raichu for Lightning Rod. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's the team. Uh, I'm going to be right back, though. I drank a whole cup of coffee. Um, I need to go use the restroom. We'll be right back. <laughs> I think my hate and fear for Reggie Lucky stems from playing a lot of Pokemon oh, Gen 8 National decks. Oh. Yeah, that would do it. Also, are you playing singles or doubles? I think that would also matter. That would also change like my opinion of stuff. Let's update my rank. Let's see. Um, play singles. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't like I don't, I'm not a fan of singles um, overall. Um, I used to. I did get to I have gotten to Master Ball and singles, but there's something about it for me that I just I mean, you can tell I haven't played... Oh, this is season 13. Wow. Um, I haven't played singles since the first season. <laughs> I got to Master uh, master Ball, and then I was like, okay, that's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. After I got to... Like, once I got to Master Ball, and I was like, that's... Uh, I've done enough. And then... Um, with doubles, it's like I got to the top 1,000 a couple times, so it's like I really don't care about my rank anymore. I just kind of play. Um, I just don't play Pokemon enough anymore is um, the biggest thing. I don't play it enough to get back up into Master Ball consistently. Okay, this team <coughs> looks like this kid just pick it, picked his favorites. Um, that's what this looks like. He picked his favorite Pokemon. Uh, the thing is, everything except for the Hippowdon is weak to Nidoking. So we're going to Nidoking Rotom. Um, Metagross. And... Moltres? Moltres or Gyarados? Honestly... I think Moltres, because... Hmm. No, maybe not Moltres. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> right, you. Let's do that. I this this person I don't see a clear strategy. So this is what I always hate about not being a master ball is like you get these teams that don't have clear strategies but can have like some hidden gimmick that you don't know about. Um, and you just have to hope your knowledge of the possibility of moves. Um, but I honestly, like, in the time to select Pokemon, I don't have enough time to think of all the permutations of stuff. Okay. This is fine. This is good. Uh, this is a very quick, easy, nice thing. Um, okay. Nice. Okay, so we're just gonna Earth Power Toxicity and... Oh, actually, I don't... 
We might just swap this out straight for the Raichu right away, I think. And Sudi throws at us. Uh, more people to challenge, to be too challenged, to be honest. I haven't played actual physical since Generation 3. Yeah, Generation 3 is a great generation, but... Yeah, Pokemon Showdown's good. Pokemon Showdown, I feel like the skill level in Pokemon Showdown is overall a little bit... Uh, well, I don't know if it's higher. I think up until a certain point, it can be higher. I should have left. I need to just... I need to always just leave with Raichu. Oh, Sludge Wave. Interesting strategy. Not a strategy I was expecting. Stealth Rocks? What? Stealth Rocks? What is this? Stealth Rocks? This, this is it singles? This is it singles, kid? Uh, okay. I, he just... Throw stealth rocks out at me. Yeah. Um, honestly, once you get up to like the high rank semester, well, that's when the game becomes fun. That's why I like having an actual game is because you can get into. What is, what is this? What is this madness? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna hear impulse to Duraldon on just in case um, it has some shenanigans I don't know about. Oh right, I messed up. I messed up. Raichu is a psychic type. It's gonna psychic Nidoking. King. Yeah, I messed up. I just, I saw Raichu and thought it was oh, it's a Raichu. It's an Alolan Raichu. I messed that up. Silly me. I fucked up. I fucked up. Uh, that's annoying. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I could have done a lot more dumb. Um. Honestly, let's just make this draw out on useless. Another eerie impulse into it. Yeah, that was a dumb. I, I should have... I should have done swapped out or done something else. Honestly, I might get rid of Blizzard and give it Protect instead. Um, I feel like I haven't used. Uh, uh, I feel like I haven't used Blizzard enough to justify not having Protect. Because if I had Protect, I would have been fine. Uh, or swapped out. On, I would have swapped out to Metagross if I realized it was not was a lull in Raichu. But I just quickly looked and read. Um, surf. Not what, okay. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Uh, surf coming out of that. Yeah, tickle. Pickle damage. That's gonna even do... Oh, Shukaberry. Will it still kill, though? I don't know. Because Raichu is not very... Yeah, Raichu is not tanky at all. Like, I would not have given it a barrier. If anything, maybe an air balloon would have been better. Um, but definitely not Shuka Berry. Oh, is it leftovers? I should have realized that too. Yeah, I just don't know what this guy's strategy is. Um, like, now I got Rotom and Metagross, which are both very strong Pokemon. Who is it? Yeah, it's a Lycan Rock. Oh no, whatever shall I do against that? It's not like I have a steel type and a water type. Oh no, I don't know what to do. Honestly, I'm just gonna kinda, I think I might just ignore the Duraludon and just double up into the Rock. Just to make sure I can kill it. In case it has some like shenanigans I don't know about. Um, oh, it could max guard. That would be kind of annoying if it max guard, but like the Duraludon is doing so little. It, um. I'm not really concerned. I need a shiny hunt Lycan Rock. Lycan Rock Shiny is amazing. I love that blue dog. But also, I need to set a timer for myself because I need to leave at some point today. Next darkness. Ooh, that actually might hurt a bit, but I should be fine, right? Yeah, I'm fine. Mm. Oh, pfft. That was a lot more than I was expecting. 
I did not expect Rotom to do that much. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a lot. I did not expect Rotom. Rotom probably get taken on this team by himself. Good old Rotom. Okay, that's five games now that we've won. Unless I fuck us up somehow. I don't think I can. Uh, yeah. This is, this is also like why I struggle to find motivation um, to get back into Master Ball, because the climb to Master Ball, it's easy and annoying at the same time. Like, usually I win most of my games. Like, last time I streamed Pokemon, I won, I played eight matches, I won seven of the eight. This time, I'm 5-0 and right now. So, it's like, it's hard to find motivations to, like, keep playing. Yep. Yeah. Oh. It's actually a pretty fast one. Yeah, it's like, how do you plan on dealing with Metagross? Like, bye bye. Variation between the teams is insane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, the biggest thing for me is I don't like, I, I don't enjoy singles. Um, to me, doubles is like, I love doubles because you can interact. Singles, you just can't, there's so much swapping. There's all the stall tactics and stuff. Um, is the main thing that I struggle with. Okay, let's take a look at this team. Uh, okay, nothing unique about that. I would have gone with Throat Spray instead of Expert Belt. That would have been better. Uh, very standard. Focus Sash, good choice. Uh, Mega Horn, interesting choice. Uh, Stealth Rocks, so confused by that. Very confused why Stealth Rocks. Are all these shiny? No, this isn't shiny. Surf confuses me as well. Um, that confused me. Dust Form is the best. Dust Form is way better in my mind. Uh, when you don't have sand, so, um, Tough Claws, power-ups moves that make direct contact is insanely good. Um, if you have sand up and you have like, um, then t day form is better. But if it's just a plain old like rock by itself, dusk, dusk, dusk form is better. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Huh. I don't know why I was in day form. I mean, I'll still get the special defense boost, but yeah, no, it should have been day form. No, I want to see my rank. I want to know. I want to know. Give me, give me, give me my new rank. I'm five and zero. Uh, I wish the scaling was a little bit faster. I have, I'm five and zero. Like, give me, give me a little higher ranking, please. <laughs> I can't have a the Z Crystal Swire on Lock and Rock at all. I mean, Lock and Rock's still a really good Pokemon. Like, it's pretty good, like, offensively. Um, like, let me... Give me a second. Mm. Is this the one that I want? Nope. Uh, oops. What is this? Oh, I know what that is. Uh... Give me a second. I'd move I'd move things around for a different stream, so things aren't what they normally are for my showdown stuff. Uh, actually, I think it's supposed to be a little bigger, right? Yeah, that looks good enough. Oh, that one over there needs to be fixed. But I'll fix it later. Uh, so like rock. Let's take a look at like rock really quick. Uh, let's just. So, I can rock uh, day form. Sand rush, amazing. Um, speed is really good already, but the dust form, or oh, I didn't mean to actually click it. Lycan rock. Uh, it's still pretty fast, and the main thing is it has a slightly higher um, attack, but tough claws is insanely good. And with priority rock, if you just get those off, it's because a cell rock is also a. Um, I'm pretty, it's, I'm pretty sure that it counts as a contact move too, so that's just really nice to have that. 
Um, what else is there? Yeah. But actually, I'll show you the team. So this was a this is the version of the team that I was actually running on Showdown instead. <laughs> um, slightly different. So weakness policy, Metagross, same thing as their Raichu, same thing as what I have, except as Brutal Swing, because I'm using weakness policy on Metagross instead. Top of Coco with choice specs. Um, Little King. Um, Thunderbolt instead of Flamethrower because of Tapu Koko's uh, Electric Surge. This is also Choice Specs. Tornadus, I tried to do something funny. It's a Bulk Up, Rest, Acrobatic, Sleep Talk. So the plan is just keep going with that. Um, yeah, because it's Prankster Rest, which is just always fun to do Prankster Rest. Um, and then Chandelier here just to keep away Shark Rooms. And also Chandelier just Heat Mage Shadow Ball um, is really good in general. Um, that's why also why I don't have Flamethrower on. Uh, Nidoking King is because Chandelure has the fire types. Biggest issue with this team, five of the six are weak to earth, or ground type moves. Um, so I really had to like be cautious of that. It works surprisingly well, even with six of them having a type weakness as bad as that. Um,